Hello everyone and thank you for taking the time to come and listen to this presentation about your A-level music option for Christleton Sixth Form. Uh, my name is Mr Phillips, the Head of Music and Performing Arts and I'll be talking to you about what you could expect from this course to give you the option of considering it for Year 12. So firstly, why might you consider studying music at A-level? Well, probably because you enjoy music. Perhaps you um, have a passion for performing. Maybe you like creating new music of your own, composing using technology or at a piano or singing with a guitar. Perhaps you're more interested in understanding how music has developed and why we communicate musical language in the way that we do. Any of those reasons or a combination of those reasons would probably be a good reason for you to consider music as an option. So what do you actually do with this course? Well, you won't be surprised to learn that the three main principal areas are exactly the same as they would be in any music course at GCSE level um, or BTEC level two, which is there are elements of performance, elements of composition, and then a written exam at the end of year 13. And as you can see there, you have a choice with performance and composition. You can choose to have your performance element worth 25% of the course and composition 35, or the other way around, allowing you to work to your strengths. This is an individual choice per student rather than for the whole class. The exam at the end is worth the remaining 40%. So I'll talk to you about each of those elements now and give you an idea of what would be involved. Obviously, the performance is coursework in as much as you practice your instrument or singing throughout the two years of the course. And then at the end, you produce a recital, which is video recorded and sent away to an external examiner. For the 35%, you'd need to perform for 12 minutes and for the 25% eight minutes. And of course, this is very similar for those of you that have sat any music exams before to one of those with the ABRSM or Trinity or Rock School, where you um, you have three pieces perhaps. Um, there are no scales or other requirements like that. It's just a recital of pieces, but you do get to do record that a number of times until you're happy with the final result. And then that would be uh, sent away. You'd be expected to play at around a grade six standard to be able to access all of the marks. But remember, of course, that you won't need to have achieved that until the end of the course. Um, recording your performance is usually the very last thing we do before the, uh, just before the written exam. So moving on, composition. So creating your own music. Again, because of the choices, you can do your two compositions with or without three short technical exercises, which help you get the extra 10% if you're doing the smaller performance element. And one of these compositions is completely self-determined. You can write for any instruments, acoustic, electronic, synthesized, sampled, whatever, um, and in any musical style and according to any brief and for any purpose, very free indeed. The other brief is set by the exam board and there's still an element of freedom and choice in there in as much as you can choose which instruments you want to use but usually there's an occasion that the composition is for or a particular style that you might need to write in. The combined total length of these compositions needs to be about four minutes so they're not very long particularly. And then of course at the end of year 13 you will take your final exam. Now the exam is in three sections and section A is the shortest, which is worth 30 marks. And this will include some short questions um, or some multiple choice questions, um, little bits of tunes and rhythms that you need to be able to write down when you hear them. And this will be non-prescribed music. And that just means that it's music that hasn't been specifically studied. We won't know what that music is until you actually go into the exam. Um, but it will fit into our areas of study one and two. And I'll explain a little bit more about those later in this presentation. Section B of the exam, however, is where you study uh, in advance 
some set works or prescribed works so you'll know what these pieces are before you go in and I'm going to tell you a little bit about those later on and these are just four 10 mark questions so slightly longer answers but you are able to answer in bullet point form they're not mini essays and then the final section of the exam is indeed two essay style questions and answers based on the other four areas of study which again I will talk about a little bit later on so that's a little breakdown of the exam we get plenty of practice at these questions um, during year 13 particularly after we've done all of the learning in year 12 so here we go with these areas of study now the first one is the instrumental music of Haydn Mozart and Beethoven you've probably heard of one or more of those names and your set work for this area of study for 2023 which is when you would sit the exam um, would be a nice piece by Mozart which is for four wind instruments and a piano um, two movements from that and it's important to know that this is a study of a score so you have the music in front of you and we analyze it and we talk about how the music's been created and how these instruments have been used in different ways to create the piece so a study of a score area of study two is the pop song blues jazz swing and big band and your set work for 2023 is four songs from Billie Holiday's complete Decca recordings um, now this album is from the late 1960s um, and these are four excellent songs that you would really enjoy studying so these aren't a study of the score these are studies of the particular recordings and we talk about the recording techniques involved uh, the chords that have been used the different people involved playing the instruments and so on so it's much uh, much different to area of study one and finally we choose two of the other four areas of study um, to look into as a class um, and we would give you some information about those in advance um, of the second part of year 12 so that you could make a choice about which ones you are most interested in but only two of them so if you are interested then what do you need to have done in advance of this course well we'd like you to have a grade six or above in GCSE music or an equivalent um, this would be a merit or higher in a vocational qualification like a BTEC. If you are a grade five uh, in your GCSE music, then we could talk to you about that because there's every possibility you may still be able to study your A level in music. But we would like to have a chat with you about that first. You need to, at the start of the course, be approximately a grade four standard on your main instrument or if you're a singer on voice doesn't mean you have to have done any exams I know lots of students have reached a certain standard but don't like doing the the uh, graded exams with Trinity Associated Board Rock School etc but if you're about grade 4 standard and if you're not sure your teacher will be able to tell you then we think that that would be a good place to start because there's a good chance then if you get into about grade 6 standard by the end of the course but mostly you just need to be enthusiastic and passionate about music as a subject in some way it's a very flexible course so whatever your musical tastes and whatever your musical interests and ambitions there will be something probably to suit you we will give you a number of things in return for your decision to study A-level music small class sizes of usually somewhere between four and six so a really nice um, small class allowing you to have uh, the opportunity to make the most of the staff who will be teaching you um, we have uh, three full-time staff in the music department all with different areas of knowledge and expertise lots of resources to be able to help you achieve the best that you can and of course we have um, a good um, uh, a te technology setup um, with Sibelius and Cubase, Guitar Pro and various other things if you're interested in using music technology in that way. We of course have um, a very active extracurricular 
performing arts department and the music parts of that include concerts, recitals, weekly rehearsals. Obviously this has been all impacted quite significantly this year but hopefully by the time you're looking at taking A-level music some of these things will have started to happen again if not all of them. So it may seem obvious to say that you may like to consider a future in the music industry as a musician if you study A-level music but of course there are lots of other jobs in the music industry and um, this is just a, a list of some of them um, and you may have some other ideas of your own about jobs in the music industry that you'd like to consider but of course A-level music isn't just a qualification that helps you if you want to work in the music industry it's also considered to be something useful if you want to work in any of the other creative industries and there are some on the list there um, so including creative and arts administration there at the end um, and of course other things as well music is highly regarded as an academic subject and so could complement studies in many other areas that you might want to move on to after A levels and sixth form. It's important to note that A level music involves written, analytical, practical and social and personal skills. Um, so independent learning, being disciplined about practice and revision and so on. Team working, so ensemble performances, concerts, performance, class discussions. Performance and presentation skills, of course, which are useful in any job or, or career or any field of training, the ability to be able to perform and present well. Obviously, you will become a highly developed listener as a musician, and that's a very important part of the course. Um, confidence and self-esteem has a, a positive impact on all areas of life and learning, and of course, creativity and self-expression, encouraging you to think differently um, and, and perhaps harness your imagination in a different way. I'll just put this quote up next. Music can help a young person maintain good mental health during a time of high pressure and anxiety. It's worth remembering that alls, as well as being a very academic course A-level music, it might be a subject worth considering as something that's slightly different from your other A-level choices and something that allows you to tap into a different part of yourself and your learning. So how well have we done previously with this challenging course? Well, we have very small classes, so I thought it might be um, fairer and a bit more insightful to show you our combined results since this brand new OCR A-Level Music course started uh, three summers ago. So 90% of our students um, have achieved between an A star and a C grade, and about two thirds of our students achieve in that top bracket of A star to B. So thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions at all about A-level music, about the course, about your options, about the entry requirements, about any aspect, please do come and see me if you're able to do so in school or you can send me an email, Phillips and then another S, an extra S at crystaltonhigh.co.uk. Uh, we look forward to perhaps seeing you next year and thank you very much for listening.